Application to walls. When insulating your home with SemperTap Thermal, it's only necessary to apply the insulation to the internal surfaces of your external walls. The first stage in applying SemperTap Thermal to the walls is to prepare the surface. Strip wallpaper and prepare the walls and ceilings as though you were going to decorate. Fill any large holes or cracks with a proprietary filler. If the surfaces are bare, porous, friable or chalking, they must be sealed with a coat of SemperTap A primer or a coat of proprietary PVA primer. Apply by brush and allow to dry. Where the skirting has a top edge of 10 mm or more, SemperTap Thermal butts down to it, giving a neat finish. Where they do not have a top edge of 10 mm, then you'll need the SemperTap Thermal channel. Measure and cut the length you require. It's best stuck to the wall with no nails or similar adhesive and fit it above the top edge of your skirting. Alternatively, you could fit a 10 mm timber bead or remove the skirting and fit a new one once you've applied SemperTap Thermal to the wall. Measure the wall for drop length. Always remember, measure twice, cut once. You'll need a clear area for measuring and cutting the SemperTap Thermal. Lay your dust sheets on the floor. Unwrap the SemperTap Thermal and roll out 2.5 to 3 meters. Measure the length you require. It's always a good idea to allow a bit of an overlap, just in case the walls are not true. Make sure it's exactly square at either end, then cut. To apply SemperTap adhesive, you'll need a medium pile roller and a small brush. First, apply the SemperTap adhesive by brush along the edge at the wall ceiling junction, wall wall junction and at skirting level, known as cutting in. Then apply to the main part of the wall using the roller. Apply a generous amount of adhesive to only one drop length area at a time. The adhesive is low odor, in fact, has hardly any smell at all. To hang the first drop of SemperTap Thermal, roll up the cut length with the foam side facing out. The foam side goes against the wall. The woven fiberglass surface faces into the room. Apply your first drop to the wet adhesive, starting at the top of the wall at the junction with the ceiling. Roll out about half a meter, making sure that it's straight. If it's crooked, peel it off the wall and start again. If you have to do this more than a couple of times, apply a bit more adhesive to the area. Once you're happy it's straight, continue until completely unrolled. Then, using the SemperTap spatula, smooth out any air pockets and make sure that the SemperTap thermal is firmly applied. It's a good idea to trim as you go. First, any excess at the top, at the junction with the ceiling. Use the SemperTap spatula as a straight edge and with a sharp knife, Stanley knife or snap-off bladed knife, cut off unwanted amount. Push the spatula hard into the junction and run the knife along the edge to make the cut. Where SemperTap thermal channel has been fitted, mark the overlap to about halfway down the channel. Then, using the straight edge and a pencil, mark a cutting line. Cut off the excess using scissors. Apply an additional amount of SemperTap adhesive to the wall above the channel. Create a bow and set the SemperTap thermal on the edge of the SemperTap channel. Then, using the SemperTap spatula as a shoehorn, ease the SemperTap thermal into the channel starting at one end and run the spatula along the channel, easing in the rest of the SemperTap thermal. Apply the SemperTap adhesive for the second drop. Again, only apply to the area of one drop. Use the brush to apply the adhesive and cut in around the edges. Then use the roller to cover the main part of the area. When using the brush, also apply the adhesive on the leading vertical edge of the SemperTap thermal, buttering the edge of the material with a liberal amount of adhesive. Take the second drop length, roll up with the foam facing out and hang on the wall exactly as the first drop. 
don't butt join the drops. Leave a small gap, one to two millimeters, between the lengths of SemperTap Thermal. Knife off any excess adhesive and leave to dry. The adhesive is water-based and will dry back. Trim at junction with ceiling, skirting and around the window. Continue applying SemperTap Thermal drops until the whole wall is insulated. The SemperTap sealant will be used on completion to fill the joints. Ensure that SemperTap Thermal is applied behind the radiator. If there's sufficient space between the radiator and the wall, apply SemperTap adhesive to the wall by use of a long neck radiator roller. Insert the SemperTap Thermal behind the radiator and smooth out on the wall using a clean long neck radiator roller handle. Alternatively, it may be necessary to drop the radiator to gain access to the wall to apply SemperTap Thermal in the normal manner.